Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. I'm joined by my buddy Yong Chiang. Yo. It is the end of the night. We just had dinner at Naomi's Cafe or Naomi's Kitchen, sorry, at Naomi's Kitchen. And uh, I was thinking of uh, doing a closing for this spinner over here, which is the bow tie, stainless steel by United Machining. Because in the first place, my whole adventure with the bow tie started off with this young man over here with the aluminium bow tie. I originally did an initial thoughts video and now I'm doing the closing video because I had this for quite some time now but I decided to hold off on the second part until I met up with him and uh, from the point of time when I received it till now I'm gonna say that my impressions have not changed I really have learned how to appreciate it quite a lot especially because it's in stainless steel I get to see all these machining marks and all that and uh, I like it a lot so Dylan good job Big ups to you. And I've also lent it to Yong Chang to play with it for a bit because he's experienced the aluminium version a lot more than myself. And so I'm just gonna get his thoughts on it. The bearings are different? Different. This is one of only this has this bearing. Seriously? Yeah. Since it's the same design, uh, everything I liked about the aluminium version carries on to this this version as well. Uh, being that it's ex actually extremely comfortable to fidget. And and the uh, machining work that's on the frame as well. But what's different from the aluminium stainless steel version would be the half hour uh, material difference. And I have to say, uh, having experienced the uh, uh, stainless steel version now, I actually prefer it to the aluminium one. Because, I mean, okay, aluminium one was was really easy to play, it was fun to play with, but you wouldn't get the spin times you expect by spinners nowadays. Uh. But with the stainless steel one, the weight difference really does make a difference. And it still carries on that uh, easy fidgetability, but just with the extra half, you just get more feeling out of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because the aluminum one was uh, just a bit too light. A lot of them call that like spin character or like uh, what they call it feedback, feedback, yeah. And then they use the word like, oh, is there any jutter? Is there any like yeah. flutter with it and shit? There are so many terms now, bro. Like compared to last time when it was just all about fun and just about fidgeting, I think. Yeah, like, do you actually have fun fidgeting it is This and that, yeah. Yeah, this, I mean, this really is fun to fidget, bro. It's like so smooth, well-rounded. And uh, I chose red because the North Star that you had when I really liked it was red. Dylan's anodization with his aluminium is really spot on. They are always really vibrant and, and wear resistant as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a point, that's a good point. I never ever saw any of his buttons actually wearing out. Yeah, even with the North Star, I had it for a while. For quite a while already and been used for uh, quite a bit. A lot, right? The body's yeah. all locked up. But yeah, the, the body's all locked up, but the buttons look brand new. Damn! So, yeah, his his organization is really up there, man. Right now, this is going for 94 US because it's on sale. And uh, from the point of time where I actually made the initial thoughts video till now, Dylan at United Machining has actually released a limited edition purple color with raw brass buttons. So word has it that once this version sells out, Dylan's gonna retire this design altogether. So uh, if anyone is interested in getting one of the bow ties, you gotta act really quick because this thing's exquisite, man. There's not even a single like defect. There's not even a single problem with the machining. It's just, it's yeah, just the perfect. the machining and the finishing on the outside. It's just amazing, man. It's, the value's just there. So that's really my final verdict on this after spending about a month with the bow tie. And I really like it a lot. And I'm really thankful to Dylan. So big shout out to you, Dylan, at United Machining LLC. Thank you so much for presenting this to me because I didn't expect it. Really was a very, very pleasant surprise. And uh, right now I'm gonna say, bro, I'm giving this to you. Yeah. Because if not, yeah, bro, if not for you, I wouldn't even have tried the bow tie in the first place. Legit, uh? Yeah, legit, bro. I kid you not. My birthday ain't ready yet. Bro, I don't, I'm not kidding you, bro. Christmas is really? not here. It's for you. That's why I've been waiting to do this until I met you, bro. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, if not, Thanks. if not for Yong Chiang, you know, uh, I wouldn't even have the opportunity to review the original aluminium bow tie as well as the North Star in the first place. So now when Dylan reached out to me and said, hey, I'm gonna send you one, I'll be like, what? That's such an honor, but in my heart I was like, wait, 
I don't think I should be getting it. So I promised Dylan, I said I would do a review. I wasn't really able to appreciate the aluminium version, but the stainless steel version is really something that I really like personally. I love stainless steel, it's a personal opinion. And then because it is a machine finish like this, you know, it really shows off all of his workmanship. It really shows off the quality. It really shows off, you know, all the lines and everything that I thought would be easily covered up with a coat. With yeah. the coating, it really feels like, and it looks, looked like one, one even finishing on the entire body. But yeah. with this, you can actually see the, the, the different like dips and curves you actually machine into the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this part, right? The inner part. Yeah, here the inner part. And it just hugs the button just right. It's damn crazy because there's this curve on the inside, there's a curve on the inside here. And then like... And these two... Uh, yeah. These two platforms are actually different. They're different elevations and as well. Exactly. Like, okay, I can't really describe this, but you actually feel there is a very, very slight edge and then a very smooth curve in between each groove. So that's, that's nuts. There's yeah. like a little edge and then the smooth curve. And that is just that is just crazy. I mean, I mean it's some it's it's almost like a Rory stone in some respects where you can just touch it and Yeah, yeah it feels good. Yeah. You know it feels good? Getting stuff from this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be straight up and say that uh, I've learned to appreciate the machining. In terms of the design itself, it still really until today it doesn't really appeal to me. It's not like something that I'll be like, oh my god, I gotta get it. But it is a very classic design and it really helped to define the term bow tie shaped spinner and it's all because of this the bow tie united machining so this will forever remain one of the classic spinners in the market and uh really definitive spinner what a spinner should be like all round fun to fidget with no hot spots and very very well made and uh yeah it's not like mass manufactured beautiful stuff i hope you like it bro i mean <laughs> i don't want to say it man bro you deserve it man All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next slice of my life. All right, see you. Good night. Yeah, good night. Bye. Filming's done. Uh, Yong Chang has some stuff he wants to say. I mean, okay, first of all, I really have to thank Slide right here for actually gifting this to me. I really, it really means a lot. And I also want to thank Dylan for giving Slide, for giving it to me. Yeah. All right, peace.